Hey, this is Paul Gordon of iState.tv. This is your iTop of the day, and it's titled, Why Are Libertarians Picking Sides in the Battle for the Alabama Senate Seat? When I say libertarians, I'm really talking about a broader swath of folks that I would call, I would say, the minarchist, the libertarians, the anarchists, that, that group of people people why do i see so many of you picking sides in the battle for the alabama senate seat and first i want to say that no one is defending pedophilia even though that's a narrative that's going out uh if you're kind of tilted towards the left of the democrats uh, and the other side, Roy Moore is not definitely innocent if you're tilted towards the, the right or the GOP side. I'm not saying that he's definitely guilty, but you can't. I don't think you could definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's not he's not guilty. This is all false. This is uh, you know, fake news, whatever. And I'm not buying it. I'm not buying either one of these narratives. So. This this uh this whole thing came about and and I'm gonna post a link there on the uh, the right hand corner to the to the article. I I did write an article for this, and I may read from parts of the article, but largely I'm just gonna be speaking impromptu here. This this really started off because what I've seen on my Facebook page is uh, a bunch of uh, folks that fit into this camp that I'm targeting for this rant, if you will, the the minarchist, libertarian, self described anarchist that I, I've seen them basically picking sides in these different narratives that are emerging depending on whether you're. Uh, Republican leaning or Democrat leaning and, and and the essence of this is there's a special Senate election happening in Alabama between the Democrat Doug Jones and the Republican Roy Moore and 30 days before the election four women I believe it's four women so far have come forward ranging in ages between 14 and 18 with allegations that range from sexual misconduct, I would say, to 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 actual rape, and uh, this these allegations, these women are are, are much older now. This uh, the allegations uh, come from forty years ago when 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 Roy Moore was 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 in his his thirties. So I'm watching the. These folks that I know most, and, and and really specifically, I mean, I'm addressing the wider audience because I'm sure it's way beyond what I'm seeing from my friends. But I'm specifically addressing people that I call my friends. I still call them my friends. I still like them. I don't have a fundamental issue with them. I disagree with with what they're doing right here, but uh, I don't. I don't have a fundamental issue with them. They're still my friends. But. But but I but I see them basically participating in a battle, which which when you when you boil it down to its essence, it's essentially a battle for a finger. That's right. This is a battle for a finger. That's all this is. A finger in the Senate that presses a yay or nay button. Okay, some sometimes they do voice votes, but. I'm going to go ahead. That's that's the that's the clear metaphor for me, because when you boil it down, it's a finger. It's a finger that presses yay or nay. That is what we're talking about. And that finger is going to be pressing yay or nay to vote or not vote for legislation that will either allow or not allow human action, human action that does not directly harm others. They're going to be making decisions on what you can or cannot do, even in areas of daily human living, that do not directly, and I mean directly, harm others. And I always feel like I have to say directly harm others. <laughs> because if you just say harm others, oh, you could, you could find, you could find, 
you know, well, well, A will lead to B, will lead to C, will lead to D, will lead, blah, 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 will lead to Z, which will harm someone. So therefore, I can prescribe or proscribe A, because somewhere down the road, A might theoretically harm people when it gets to Z. So the the, the fact of the matter is, if, if Roy Miller is guilty, it doesn't matter. Really, doesn't. Not in this political war. The the very nature of the war is, um, at least by my standards, it's immoral. The political war itself is immoral. And I believed that that was the case for many of the people that I'm seeing deciding to advance whatever narrative they want to advance. Uh the, the the fact of the matter is, it, it's not a pleasant thing to say. It's a terrible, terrible reality that whether Roy Moore is actually a rapist or a pedophile is absolutely irrelevant to this political war. The only way that it is relevant is the degree to which that, if it's a fact, that fact, or if it's not a fact, just the accusation, uh, will 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 impede or advance the cause of one side or another getting the right finger in that Senate seat, putting the right butt on that seat that possesses the finger that will press that yay or nay button, and both sides, no matter no matter what moral posturing either side is pretending to engage in, deep down both sides know that <laughs> it doesn't matter all that matters is that they get their finger on that seat or the butt the butt that per, per, that possesses the finger that will press the re yay or nay button in the right way <laughs> that's all they need in that seat that is all they need and that's what's going on here folks that is the simple fact of the matter that you are dealing with when you're talking about the reality of power being that a small group of people in Washington, D.C. know full well that the actions that they take can and will trigger armed people to enforce, if need be, and hopefully, you know, because it costs more to, to send out the armed people, so they rely a lot on the myth of the legitimacy of what they're doing. But when the myth of the legitimacy of what they're doing fails, they got these guys in their back pocket. And they 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 know full well that the reality of power is such that the decisions they make affect almost every aspect of human daily living. The people on the I'll call them the left, know it. The people, I'll call them on the right, know it. And, and when I say left or right, I'm just identifying team names. I don't know really what those terms mean in America today, but let that the, the left team and the right team, you know, like, like the Dallas Cowboys, we'll call them the left, and uh, uh, the New York Giants, let's call them on the right. Now, I'll do that because I hate both those teams. Go Eagles. So <laughs> that's why I'll do that. So you got the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Well, they call themselves left or right for the purpose of the purpose of this game. And they, they understand that if they're not the ones in power, that that means that <laughs> real, real, real painful things could happen to them. Men and women with guns could show up and alter their course of action in a fundamental way. So the first point I want to make is about this narrative. And I'm going to read a little bit from my article here. The Republicans are not defending pedophilia. Nope. I don't see it. I don't see them doing it. They are ruthlessly fighting a political war to determine, again, what finger gets to press the yay or nay button in the Senate? That's it. They are doggedly determined to press the narrative that Roy Moore is clearly innocent and that this is all a Democrat operation and that 
All these women are lying. And and I've seen the, the narrative going out. Oh, Sean Hannity is defending pedophilia. And, you know, Carrick is going to drop Sean Hannity. And all these other advertisers are going to drop, drop Sean Hannity because a disinformation war was was engaged through, through uh, really, Media Matters being the focal point. Media Matters is a leftist, rabid attack dog that plays the same tactic. They constantly go after advertisers to cut off funding from conservatives. It's not for any moral high ground. It is simply a ruthless political war to defund conservative voices. That's it. No, no other reason than, you know, the less the conservative voices out there, the more we can win people over to our lies. <laughs> you know, let, let's, let's prevent them from hearing the conservative lies. Let's get them to only hear our lies. <laughs> See, that's what's going on here. So the narrative goes out when Sean Hannity is, 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 is basically, he's, he, he's not even fully defending Roy Moore in, in this Friday uh, engagement, both with Roy Moore and then the 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 engagement he had on his radio show with one of his co-hosts, I forget her name. Uh, he he at one point he talks about well well and it's consensual and in between there there's a reference to a 14 year old. Now in between that reference to the 14 year old, there's references to 17 year 18 year olds. Any anybody with half a freaking brain can listen to that and realize well Sean Hannity. He missed that 14-year-old reference. He was talking about the 17 and the 18-year-old. And, yeah, when you're talking about a 17, 18-year-old, you are talking about consent. You know, you're talking about, uh, you know, was it consensual or was it not consensual? That's the question at that. I mean, if you're talking about the 14-year-old, then you're not talking about consensual. But from that, they've decided that the, the that Sean Hannity was endorsing pedophilia. You're endorsing pedophilia just by standing up and saying, you know, I don't know that Roy Moore is guilty. I don't know. I am. I mean, he, he, uh, you're endorsing pedophilia by saying, oh, yeah, Roy Moore is definitely innocent. Uh, well, and I would say, again, I've, I, I said in the very beginning, Roy Moore is definitely innocent. Is <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think you've got the facts behind you to make that statement. You, you, you can definitely say Roy Moore is definitely not. Well, he's not definitely guilty, and he's not definitely innocent. You need to get some more facts but what's come out so far i would say warrants gathering more facts so the narrative now going out there though from the left and uh, from many of our anarcho libertarian minarchist friends who've decided that you know what i'm gonna go ahead and tilt my favor toward the left that narrative is that uh yeah yeah, you're you're all pedophiles. The Republicans are are endorsing pedophilia. Roy Moore or uh, Sean Hannity is a a pedophile endorser, and the and the people who are destroying their Kerrig uh, coffee makers are pretty much admitting that they're endorsing pedophilia. I mean, this is identitarian sleazy politics at its worst, and you're engaged in it. You are you're you're dipping your whole body into the into the, the the crap soup on the other side we have had women come forward we've had four women come forward i think four women come forward and of course the the narrative that i see emerging is oh this is all fake news that's it oh they are women coming forward 40 years later why didn't they come forward back then you understand that uh, if 40 years ago, I would, you know, you know the so-called rape culture thing, uh, I would argue in 40 years ago that rape culture was very real. It was a very real thing. The idea that a young girl facing off against a powerful politician uh, maybe was afraid to come forward, I, I seemed perfectly reasonable to me. And the idea that maybe they decide to come forward now, I, I don't know if it necessarily uh, seems reasonable. There were other times when they maybe could have. I, I don't know. But but certainly, I don't think that there's anything there for you to definitively say that this is fake news, that this is a complete dem operation. What what? So what I see out there is is, from the other side is anybody who stands up and says, you know, 
whether whether you're saying you know I think Roy Moore is guilty or hey, Roy Moore is definitely guilty that you're somehow enabling fake news that you're 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 probably just a damn operative that's the narrative that I see that emerge and when you engage in that activity again you are in, engaging in identitarian sleazy crappy political tactics you are pretty much diving headlong into the crap stew that is coercive enterprise politics congratulations so this is the type of political infighting that uh, that again i i made this point earlier this is what takes place and i'm going to read partly from my article here this is a type of political infighting that takes place in a land where those who control the levers of power are able to affect so completely a range of human daily living choices for action. And the stakes are tremendously high, and both sides of this political war know it. Yeah, in point of fact, Roy, Roy Moore may or may not be guilty. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I'm, I mean, just, just from looking at what I'm seeing, uh, you know, I, I don't have all the clear facts, but yeah, I, I think I've seen enough that I'm thinking, eh, I don't know, man. Looks kind of like maybe, maybe, maybe this guy's guilty, uh, but, but I can't say for sure that he's innocent. I definitely can't. I definitely, I definitely can't say that he's guilty. I mean, if I was a betting a man, I know I'm, I'm maybe I'm maybe seventy thirty. The guy's probably guilty, seventy thirty, maybe, maybe. And and he doesn't help with his responses because because because. Uh, and, and again, I'm saying this. Uh, I, I, I wrote the post that this video was based on on November fifteenth, twenty seventeen, eight twenty a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As I'm recording this video, it is now November fifteenth, twenty seventeen. And the time is now 9.59 a.m.? Is, is it almost 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. already? Wow. So, uh, you know, if you can see the differences there, you see that uh, after I wrote the post, I, I took considerable time to try to draft the post, <laughs> tighten things up. Uh, I didn't do that for the video, though, because the video, I'm not going to edit this video. It's going to go out as is. This This is essentially, folks, it's 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 just simply a political war that 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 that's being fought by two sides who 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 want to do the same thing. They want to do the exact same thing. They want to reinforce and pass laws that give people with guns special privileges to use those guns to stop people from doing the things that do not directly harm others. And what you have is in in some areas these guys they they they're, they're going to say okay they're, they're both going to agree certain aspects of human daily living they're like yeah leave that alone. And when that when 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 they say leave that alone it's not cuz they're noble and they love liberty it's cuz like okay they, they see usefulness or they see a a a limit to power in leaving that aspect of human daily living alone. If they didn't find it useful to their own ends, and if they thought that they had the power to 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 prescribe uh against it, uh then then that would be another area that they they'd they'd move into. And then there are other areas, uh other aspects of human daily living that uh uh the right will say yeah let that go and then other parts that the right will say no 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 we got to stop that and then the left has their own uh different areas where they say let that go and areas where they say no 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 we got to stop that and again we're talking about action that does not directly harm others i want to make that clear so if you're engaged in this war you are indirectly i would argue indirectly supporting coercive action against others and i'm not an absolutarian so i'm not going to say you're violating the nap and it's all you're not a real anarchist or minarchist or libertarian or whatever but uh i'll say that's generally not a good idea so for me i think if you reject the model of governance uh that's at play here which is uh 
the coercive uh, enterprise model of governance, then you've got no real side to take. Out, outside now, this is when we're going to get into the practical here. So, so we're going to talk about. Well, you, you you look at this and you say, okay. I, I understand that uh, I understand the differences between these sides. I understand that that one side threatens more this set of behaviors and these groups that tend to act out uh, those behaviors. And then this other side is is uh, going after this set of behaviors and generally attacking groups that that fit within that that generally would be most of, affected by uh, uh, prescribing against those behaviors or those actions, if you will. And, and I understand if you look around and you're like, okay, well, who is more of a threat to me? I mean, not an objective threat, but, well, objective in the sense that uh, 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 is in as far as the information that you have and as you understand things, you could look at what, what that finger is going to do in the Senate. Is that finger going to vote for or against things that will more directly threaten the the aspects of human daily living that are most important to me so i I understand i understand on that front if you're going to say hey dude i'm yeah i'm picking a side but 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 if you do that do let's be honest with yourself see otherwise you come across as a bunch of freaking hypocrites and don't be surprised at all don't don't even don't don't act like you have a moral high ground if the people that have the you know the, that fit within this group this minarchist libertarian anarchist group if the if if the people that have decided that no 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 the other side is less of a threat to them if they don't engage in the same type of tactics that you are currently engaging you're engaging in disinformation folks yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones that are tilted towards the right and the ones that are tilted towards the left that are advancing these 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 false narratives. Not, neither one of you have any 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 right to take any moral high ground to to to, to pass judgment on anyone. You you, you just got to own your preferences there. You got you got to stand up and say who who or what you are. I have decided that it's in my my advantage to go ahead and participate in this war of uh, disinformation to to enable to 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 in one small in some small way to help enable this party of of ruthless coercive actioners against this party of ruthless coercive actioners just own up to what it is that you're doing it would be it would be great to see you not participating in the dif- disinformation war uh, altogether but but it, but if but if you do and and you are many of you you know who you are yeah i i would just like to make this appeal to you i'm not making an absolute moral judgment against you i'm just i'm just making an appeal to you something for you to consider and i'm going to read again from part of my article when you when you're doing this when you're engaging in this in this political war, and you're using all of the tactics that uh, these political warriors are using, including this disinformation crap, uh, you're just enabling dark actors, no matter which side you choose. And if, if the side you're favoring wins, it's still going to have victims. And those victims matter just as much as the potential victims you you might think you're protecting even if the victim is yourself and i want to confess i'm just going to come right out and say i have a side that i would prefer subjectively pragmatically i have a side that i would prefer to see win in this ruthless immoral political battle I mean, e- even if you if you remove all of the Roy Moore accusations, if they suddenly won again, went away, you're still talking about an immoral political battle because the very nature of a political battle, fighting over the power to coerce others, to stop others from acting in ways that do not directly harm others, 
by my subjective standards is 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 pretty immoral. And yeah, my 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 side's with Roy Moore. I'm on his side, so to speak. And I'm I'm going to qualify that, and I'll get to it as I go here. I I I mean I'll I'll tell you how I see Roy Moore and how I saw him before this kerfluffle emerged. I I see in Roy Moore. I I put him in the in the in the American political or political American Christian right camp. That's that's kind of where I have, it. and I view that camp uh, as uh, as tending towards taking near theocratic positions. I don't support the American Christian right standing. I believe that they take the standards of God's law and don't apply it the way it was intended. Be that as it may. I understand that Roy Moore is is absolutely going to threaten illegal immigration. And he will absolutely support a, a stronger war on drugs. He'll support a stronger police force. He'll support more bombings overseas. He'll support a bigger military. He's not going to be very friendly to homosexuals. He'll tend to favor Christian rights over most others' rights. So he will give Christians, I would say, special rights, special privileges, if you will. Uh, Doug Jones, on the other hand, this is how I though view Doug Jones. Doug Jones will support, he won't support extra special rights for Christians. He'll support extra special rights for homosexuals and minorities. Doug, Doug Jones will support, and by that I mean, th this isn't like, okay, I support, people having a level playing field and being able to uh, have a, a fair chance to demonstrate their worth their through their character, through their reliability, through their skills, whatever. No, <laughs> he'll go far beyond that. He will, he will, he, he will be in favor of uh, passing laws that demand quotas and uh, uh, you know, hate crime legislation, whatever the heck else you can think of. Uh, he, he is going to uh, support an assault on free speech. He will support raising more taxes. And yes, I'm going to be in the group that will end up being hit by more taxes if people like Doug Jones have their, if his finger is the deciding vote. And Doug Jones will also support a complete takeover in health care of health care in America by the federal government. He will support gun control, even gun confiscation. And, and, and both of those, they want to do horrible things to people. They want to, they want to limit human action in daily human living, human action that does not directly harm others in fundamentally, by my standards, vulgar ways. Uh, so, so yeah, they both stand to attack some critical aspects of daily human living, as I said, but when it, when it comes down to it, <coughs> for me, Doug Jones threatens, threatens me much more directly than Roy Moore does. I'm not, and, and, and that, that, that's not saying that Doug Jones is more of a, an objective threat. He's, he's more of a threat to me as, as I perceive it based on the information that I understand, which I grant, I may find out something different. But as far as I perceive it today, yes, he 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 threatens some things that I fundamentally value. One of the key things that I value is the ability to own, possess, and carry firearms without having the threat of force uh, hanging over me. Because obviously, you can pass a law and say you can't do this and. You can decide to do it, but when you do it, you are putting yourself in a position where you are fundamentally going to be threatened, uh, fundamentally possibly being threatened with uh, physical action against you. And <laughs> I, I, that's not cool, man. Uh, and, and also, I, I, I don't want to have as much money stolen from me or as I want to have as little money. I don't want to have any of my money stolen, but I would prefer to have as little money stolen from me as possible. And, and I absolutely don't want to see the federal government take full control of health care. 
in in and put myself in a position in the not I mean I'm almost 50 years old so yeah in the not so distant future uh you know god god willing more 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 in the future than not uh uh put myself in a position where the federal government gets to determine if I'm worthy enough to live or die uh well if I'm worthy enough to live or or not worthy enough so therefore I'll die so yeah, Doug Jones's yay or nay button pressing finger threatens me much more than Roy Moore's yay or nay button pressing finger does. And and again, that's based on my understanding uh as I have it today. But but I've not participated in defending Roy Moore. I'm not interested in defending him. Uh, in the least, I'm not interested in, in pushing the disinformation campaign of the DGOP. And <laughs> I certainly haven't participated in the disinformation campaign of the Dems. And I'm not saying that I have made, again, the objective, morally correct decision in what I've done. I am simply offering to those of you who have chosen to pick a side and advance one or the other disinformation campaigns, I'm, I'm, I'm offering you something to think about that maybe will, will cause you to you know, change your mind. And, and by the way, if, if, you, if you think advancing a narrative that this is all fake news and Roy, Roy Moore uh, isn't guilty, if you think advancing a narrative that Republicans are now pro-pedophilia, if you think that's not uh, disinformation, then I would challenge you, if you have a claim to self-ownership, I would challenge you that maybe, maybe you don't self-own yourself as much as you think you do because you probably haven't fully looked into the reality of the claims you're making. Because if you did, there's no way you could possibly make those claims. You want, you absolutely want those claims to be true. And if you're going on your feels, and if you're not owning your thoughts then you can't claim self-ownership, son, or ma'am, or whatever the case may be. I believe that if we're going to render the coercive enterprise model feckless, at some point, we should probably stop engaging in the game. And uh, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of you that are participating in this political war right now that are self-avowed non-voters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you're if you're not a self-avowed non-voter, I guess I can understand a little bit more why you're engaging in this. But 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 especially for those of you who who have taken this 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 stance of, of non-voting. I mean, I I don't vote. I don't uh, and I don't take an absolutist stance. I'm not saying you're not a minarchist or libertarian anarchist, whatever. If you don't vote, but. Uh, I, I think it's a complete waste of time, <laughs> and I'll continue to argue with you that it's a complete waste of time. But I, you know, I don't, I don't pretend to absolutely know that I'm absolutely right about that. And I'm also not taking an absolutist stance uh, whether you should participate in this political battle or not. I, I, I'm going to simply argue with you that it doesn't, based on my understanding of the world. As it is today, the reality of power as it is today, I do not believe participating in this in this sham, in this in this political freak show. Uh, I don't believe that it benefits the cause, the of, of seeing the the coercive enterprise model uh, to one day be replaced with 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 different models that don't use the coercive enterprise model models of governance. Um, I don't think it helps that cause at all. But if you're going to take the stance that voting is feckless, then why the hell are you participating in their in their war and their game? And yeah, I, I, I know that, that Roy Moore favors me and <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Roy Moore favors me. And 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 I and I and I'll tell you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the political war, as I said, that that Roy Moore might be a potential rapist, might be a potential pedophile. I'm not defending rape, and I'm not defending pedophilia. I'm just recognizing the reality, 
And the reality is that Roy Moore, even if he's if he, even if he's not guilty of any of that, the fact that he's running for Senate already makes him pretty much yeah, they're all they're all and you know, I don't want to do I want to call them all rapists and pedophiles? I don't know if I want to do that, but I, I don't know. Uh, to, to some degree or another, they, they enable the horrible things that are at least as, as awful as that. They, they're, they're, they're murder enablers at the very least. And, 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 and rape and pedophilia is, 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 is it, rape, pedophilia, murder, they're all kind of, to me, in the same level. So if you're a murder enabler, you're pretty much right on par with all of that. So that's that's the people that you're actually talking about here. So don't act all high and mighty and think that it really matters. It, it, it matters only within the state of on state based parameter if Roy Moore is guilty or not. It doesn't matter outside of it because he's awful no matter what. And Doug Jones is awful no matter what. Even even though Roy Moore favors me, and by that I mean that Roy Moore may metaphorically beat me less than Doug Jones will, uh, I realize that while he might beat me less, he will beat others more. And yes, I will say this, that it matters little to me if the person beating on me is a rapist or a murderer or a thief or none of those things. It doesn't matter who's beating on me. What matters is that they're beating on me. Within my framework of preference to have the power to have as much ability as possible to make my own daily human living decisions without having to balance the threat of physical force in that equation... I see a real advantage to having others around me afforded the same power that I want to have. And because of this preference and the standards that emerge from that core preference, I, I can't participate in a political war that while 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 it may benefit me if 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 Roy Moore wins, it will potentially harm my, harm my neighbor, so in the end, it won't benefit me. It's simply going to reinforce, no matter which one of these guys wins, it's simply going to reinforce the notion that it's okay to take course of action against folks that, that have taken no action against others that directly harmed them. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really advancing anything in that front. And I, and I believed... I, I believe that many of you, the, 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 the ones actively participating in this charade, had the same core preferences. And honestly, at this point, I don't know. Maybe I was wrong about that.